My teaching career technically began when I was 15 years old and began teaching tennis with my mom. But the real aha moment occurred for me while I was studying at Ventura College, thanks to an incredible professor of my lifespan development course. I transferred from Ventura College to Point Loma Nazarene University on a tennis scholarship, where I graduated with a Bachelor of Arts in Liberal Studies and a concentration in Human Development. Instead of staying at Point Loma, I chose to pursue my master's in teaching credential at Azusa Pacific University. I chose APU because it offered the Christian atmosphere I desired, but much closer to home. I have gained many technological skills through my experience in the digital teaching and learning program. But more importantly, I understand how to apply these skills in a meaningful way. As a result of these courses, I know how to effectively integrate technology in engaging ways in order to meet the needs of all learners. The skills I am most excited to start using in my own practice are the use of digital video in the classroom and also the incorporation of multiple intelligences in my teaching. I have also grown a lot personally during my experience at APU. I have experienced many successes and failures and learned to appreciate them both. I have learned that achieving your goals doesn't always come easily, but that is what makes achieving them so rewarding. During my time at APU, I have begun to finally really feel God's presence in my life for the first time. I have started to understand how to incorporate my Christian worldview into my educational vision, my teaching style, and also my professional interactions. In EDUC 511, Foundations in Digital Teaching and Learning, I explored my educational vision and identified goals that I wanted to achieve throughout the program. I also learned how to develop a live binder, a platform where I would organize my course materials from the program, as well as stockpile any helpful resources I learned about along the way. In EDUC 512, Instructional Applications of Productivity Software, I was introduced to various iPad apps for students, parents, and teachers. I learned to use Tab to develop professional documents in Microsoft Word and to create spreadsheets using numbers for iPad. Finally, I developed a web quest using the website Quest Garden. In EDUC 514, Digital Video in the Classroom, I learned about elements of composition such as the rule of thirds and the different types of shots used in video production. For my final project, I produced an instructional video about a science experiment involving an oozing pumpkin. In EDUC 515, Evolving Educational Technologies, I learned how to create blogs and websites using WordPress and Wikispaces. I evaluated some of the pros and cons of using technology in the classroom and explored and compared different educational applications of blogging and social media. In EDUC 522, Learning in the 21st Century, I gained a deep understanding of Howard Gardner's theory of multiple intelligences. I connected each intelligence to mobile applications that address them. I also connected specific mobile applications to each level of thinking in Bloom's taxonomy. For my final project, I created a four-week unit plan incorporating technology, multiple intelligences, and Bloom's taxonomy to meet the needs of all learners. At last, I have reached EDUC 526, the Capstone Experience. It is here that I look back on my long journey to arrive here and reflect on what I have learned and who I have become. As part of looking forward to what adventures lie ahead, I have created an online portfolio showcasing my work from the Digital Teaching and Learning Program. Up next, my action research and curricular unit plan. You know how they say a well-rested baby is a happy baby? 
Well, it turns out the same goes for adults too. Just one week of bad sleep can result in severe changes in mood, including depression and decreased emotional regulation. Having experienced the consequences of poor sleep habits firsthand, I decided to use the Action Research Project as an opportunity to improve my sleep hygiene and establish a sleep routine. Over the course of three weeks, I implemented five sleep hygiene behaviors practiced by good sleepers. Go to sleep and wake up at the same time every day. Do not use electronics after 8 p.m. and place cell phone in a different room while sleeping. Eat a light dinner between 6 and 7 p.m. Practice 20 minutes of stretching each night as a relaxing bedtime ritual. And use light to regulate my circadian rhythm by turning on all the lights first thing in the morning and dimming the lights at night. I developed a point value system to track my progress, and as you can see from the line graph, both my sleep quality and sleep hygiene have both been steadily progressing. I feel confident that if I continue to implement these behaviors, I will have more and more nights of sleeping like a baby. The goal of this 6th grade science unit is for students to gain a comprehensive understanding of the theory of plate tectonics, especially as it relates to the geologic features of California, as well as gain an appreciation for the natural world around them. The unit begins with an exploration of Alfred Wegener's theory of continental drift. Students will create a blog post summarizing Wegener's evidence for continental drift compare and contrast related fossils found on different continents, and summarize their findings using the StoryKit application, and construct an animated puzzle of the supercontinent Pangaea using a Microsoft PowerPoint tutorial. Next, students will learn about the different layers of the Earth and draw a picture representing the Earth's structure using the Brushes app. They will create a collaborative mind map about the Earth's layers using the MindMeister app, and use a comic strip creator to illustrate a story about magma's journey from the Earth's core to the surface. Students will then gain an understanding of the different types of plate boundaries using a flashcard app to memorize essential vocabulary terms. They will create a podcast to demonstrate their understanding of plate boundary activity. After that, students will classify the different types of volcanoes, cite real-life examples, and sort them using graphs in Microsoft Word. Students will also learn about the different types of seismic waves, imitate seismic waves using a slinky, and evaluate how buildings are designed to withstand earthquakes. Students will create an interactive Venn diagram comparing and contrasting volcanoes and earthquakes, and explore the Pacific Ring of Fire by plotting points of earthquakes and volcano locations using Google Earth and looking for patterns. Then, students will learn about the life of John Muir, create a wiki space championing his accomplishments, and take a virtual tour of the John Muir Trail on Google Earth. They will learn about Muir's nature journals and create a nature journal entry of their own using the paper app for iPad. For the final project, students will complete a group project in which they become experts about one of California's geomorphic provinces. Completing a master's degree in digital teaching and learning has given me something relevant and needed to offer my future students and my future colleagues. My passion for education continues to steadily grow as I get closer to having a classroom of my own. And as a result of my experience at APU, I have gained a lot of confidence in my skills and abilities as an educator. Congratulations, fellow 526ers. We did it.